Get a call here. Springtime down in Tenterfield. Beautiful down here. All the trees are sprouting green leaves. We've got the flowers out here in the garden. I've got bees getting onto the lavender. Oh, what a lovely smell that is. Beautiful, the lavender smell. Some white irises coming out behind me. And uh, come to share a word from the Lord. And today we're talking about eating, eating the word of God. <coughs> We've got to get hungry for the word of God. Even in the Old Testament, Psalm 119, verse 103, the psalmist says, How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. And Jeremiah says, When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight. And in Ezekiel, the word of the Lord said to me, Son of man, eat what is before you. Eat this scroll, then go and speak to the people of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he gave me the scroll to eat. This is in Ezekiel 3, 1 to 3. Then he said to me, Son of man, eat this scroll I'm giving you and fill your stomach with it. So I ate it and it tasted as sweet as honey. Even in the New Testament, in 1 Peter 2, verse 2 and 3, it says this, like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation now that you have tasted that the lord is good and in matthew 4 4 jesus says it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god and of course he was quoting from deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 and in John 6, verse 51, Jesus says, I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. So, why would we want to eat the word well 1 John 4 17 says this in this world we are like Jesus we need to take his words upon us in John 15 7 he says if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask whatever you wish and it'll be given to you in Isaiah 50 the sovereign Lord has given me a well instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary he wakens me morning by morning and wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. He wants us to know his word because his word is powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. It's living and active. And as you go about your daily life, you can use the word of God to sustain the weary, lift other people up, encourage them. So there is great benefit in eating God's word. First of all, you'll find salvation. Faith comes from hearing and hearing from the word of God. You're going to find spiritual food and nourishment. You'll start with milk. It'll taste like honey. But as it says in Hebrews, when you have learned to distinguish good from evil, you will be given meat to eat from the word of God. It's going to help you with your growth, with wisdom, with cleansing. The word is the great purifier of the mind and the heart. It'll give you guidance, comfort, joy, and blessings. The word of God is powerful and it needs to be digested. We need to get into it on a daily basis. If you haven't heard from God lately, may I suggest you draw aside, pull out his word, and ask him to speak to you. You have a great day. I'll see you later.